Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Got a fun one today. Uh, we're going to learn how to play Numb by Linkin Park. So this one is in drop C sharp, like a lot of their songs are. Or you can call it drop D flat, whatever you, uh, you, however your tuner reads it. Uh, if it's drop D flat, it's going to be uh, starting from the low E string. D flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. If you want to read it as C, drop C sharp, same notes, just spelled differently. It would be, um, so it would be the low E string now will now be a C sharp, and then that will go down to a G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp. Now I'll have those notes written out for you in the description just in case I just, since I just blew through them. All right, so basically you're tuning your guitar down a half step and then throwing it in drop D. And that's going to get you into the, the tuning there. So let's start here. Now at the beginning we have this little sampled uh, part that I've transcribed for guitar as well. Um, just in case you want to be able to do that. So that little melody sounds like this. So that's just going to start with 15, 18, 15 on the B string. Then you're going to go over to the 15 on the high E string. Then 18 on 18, 17 on the high E string. So all together, first time through. Now I'm going to start over the second time, starting with the same three notes, the 15, 18, 15 on the B, then back to the 18, 17 on the high E string, over to 18 on the B. So all together. So if you have a second guitarist that can play that, um, if you don't have a person playing the samples, uh, it's kind of an easy little melody to play there. Now, through, halfway through that riff in the intro, the actual guitar part hits. It was just playing the riff that's actually the chorus riff in the song as well. It sounds like this. All right, so that's, now since we're in a drop uh, tuning, we can just play our power chords with one finger. So we're gonna play across the um, fourth, fifth, and sixth string, just with your index finger, the fifth fret. Pick that again, and slide down to the first fret. For the next power chord, uh, sometimes you'll see people come up and play a jump way up here at the eighth fret. But in the reality, he plays it like this, which is taking that power chord, instead of playing it here, playing it here, and then also adding the fifth in the bass. So how that's gonna work is as you're, you can just do it while you're holding that first fret bar, and then you're gonna just add the third fret on the low E, and then the third fret on the D. Which, with the bass guitarist, makes it really sound like that chord's being played an octave lower. And then we resolve it back to the regular power chord shape of the third fret there of the bottom three strings. So, all together. And just repeat. So that's probably the main riff of the song. Every time you hear the chorus, that's what is being played. Now, they go through the first verse with no real guitar line parts at all, uh, but as we get to the pre-chorus, we have this part. Now, in the second verse, you hear that the entire time along with the second pre-chorus. Now, what is that line? You're just going to play the 12th fret there on the G string and then the 10th fret on the high E. So you pick 12, uh, four times on the G string 
let that ring, and then pick the 10th fret on the high E string, and then back to the G string once. So we have this. And then just repeat that. So it's played longer the second time through. It's kind of like the link that I was just playing at there. And then we just go back to the same uh, chorus riff that we played as the main riff to start of the song. So the only new section is the bridge, which sounds like this. It's a really cool part of the song, too. And then it's back to the chorus. All right, so what that riff is, is just that same power chord shape. Uh, and we're just going to call out the fret numbers because you just got to take it and just drag it to these different frets. So we have first fret, then three. Then when you get to five, you start going a little bit quicker. Five, seven, eight. Then the open string, those three strings open, so we have this. Then we're back here, the first fret now. Then three. Then hit the three open strings three times. And then back to the chorus. So let me just play through that bridge for you one more time. And end of the course. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, that little sample part happens at the end of the song, too. So if you want to play that, you've got that transcribed for guitar at the beginning. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.